My name is Ingeborg Eliassen. I'm a journalist from Norway living in Berlin. Uh, I am very interested in the huge changes that are happening in the field of work in Europe in the wake of the enormous technological changes as well as uh, the political handling of globalization. And uh, this uh, here, this trip here, is a chance to see up close what happens to the jobs that are connected to the engine of, of globalization, namely trade, and uh, the people who handle that, uh, that uh, actual uh, trade, namely the people in the harbors and the ships. From what you have seen until now, what are the things that have uh, caught your attention the most? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't aware that uh, although it's easy to, to see that seamen were the, really the, 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 the first profession to be really globalized, that uh, I didn't know that they also had uh, these unions that have been able to also think in global terms about how to meet globalization from an employee's point of view. And they have been able to make like a global system of tariff. Um, this, I think, is hugely interesting and, uh, and maybe a, a blueprint or some a model for the thinking of how to, for other professions to, 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 to cope with, with the, the fact that uh, it could otherwise be a, a global race to the bottom. This is one thing. Uh, another thing I've uh, seen and that I'm very surprised at is the extent of automatization in the ports we have seen and uh, that uh, many of the traditional jobs have disappeared. New jobs have come, but many of them are very precarious. Uh, they are, um, there's huge responsibility and they are very lonely. This is, uh, this is uh, really um, uh, quite um, interesting development.